and I'm originally from Edinburgh, Scotland, but I now live in South Africa, in the middle of the African bush. I first started diving in 2008, which is a really long time ago, and I worked my way up to Dive Master, where I still am today. I first started professionally free diving in 2016. I have always been a member of DAN ever since I first started diving. I've never actually dived without it and although I haven't personally had to use it, I think it's really important when you're diving to have that security. A colleague of mine once got the bends and she relied very heavily on DAN who was there for her every step of the way and seeing that happen before my eyes just showed me exactly how important DAN really is. If I had to choose my favourite dive destinations, I would choose Hanifaru Bay in the Maldives where all the manta rays and whale sharks come in the hundreds. Two, Lembe Strait in Indonesia with the muck diving where you can see all the little critters. And three, the sardine run in the Port of St John, South Africa. Absolutely anyone can take part in activities today to help the oceans. You don't have to be a diver or even a swimmer. From beach cleanups to underwater cleanups, everyone can make a difference. There's so many citizen science projects out there that you can participate in, from planting coral to adopting turtles or even just stopping using plastic straws. I studied zoology for undergrad and then I decided I wanted to go deeper and learn more about the ocean. So I did a master's in tropical coastal management, which didn't just include the animals themselves, but also the well-being of the people that rely on the coasts, economics and environmental factors all together in one holistic approach. Although I now work for Safari Live on land, I first worked for Dive Live under the water. We broadcasted live from beneath the surface. We were able to answer people's question in real time and educate people about the underwater realm. This mask is specially designed so that we can talk to you from underwater. Put your elbow out and mark that for size against her carapace. I have so many wonderful memories of working as a marine biologist, but my favourite ones, the ones that stand out the most, are probably rescuing a female manta ray who was completely entangled in monofilament fishing line. We managed to set her free. And second of all, all the turtles that I rescued, mostly Olive Ridley's, who were on their way to India for the Aribada, and they get stuck in ghost nets, huge conglomerates of plastic nets, and they're not able to get free. This included giving them surgeries, rehabilitation, and even mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR. Mm -hmm. 